Hi little sunshine, Miss Cindy here. This week we're going to be talking about finger isolation and activity ideas to help promote the separate movement of each of our fingers. So um, as our kiddos get older, they learn to move their fingers independently from one another, especially with the index finger. And instead of moving our fingers in unison like this, they're able to isolate the movement of each finger individually. And this is really important for the development of a bunch of fine motor skills, being able to hold our pencil correctly, button, zip our jackets, press doorbells, turn on light switches, things like that. And it's also really important for our kiddos to be able to communicate their wants and needs to us. So if we give them two choices, they're able to physically point to one or the other to tell us what they want instead of verbally saying that, especially if they don't have the words just yet. So um, it's really important to develop these skills. So I'm just going to give you a few ideas to get started. So the first thing you guys can do is get um, any type of push button toy. So something like a piano where you're having to push each button individually to create an effect, cash register toy, um, musical toys where you press different buttons and it plays different sounds, things like that where you have to use just one or two fingers even to push the button instead of the whole hand pushing the buttons down. The next thing you guys can do is use finger puppets. So there are store-bought ones like this where I'll sing a song like Old McDonald, model the movement for our kiddos, and then try to put the finger puppet on your kiddo's finger and have them move the puppet um, separately from their other fingers as well. You can make homemade finger puppets like this little guy that I made with a pipe cleaner. Wrap it around your finger, make a little caterpillar toy. You can use um, large beads that don't exactly fit my finger, but your kiddo's finger should fit right in there. And you can talk about the color of the owl, do red, blue, and then you can do one on each hand and say the red and blue owl are going on a walk and you can just make it fun for them. The other thing you can do is with food, there are different, some food items um, are really great for promoting the index finger isolation and other finger isolation as well, like um, raspberries. If your kiddo really likes raspberries, you can put the raspberry on each finger like a little hat and move the raspberries around their fingers and then use that to feed themselves and that's kind of a fun way to um, explore the food and also work on those movements of our fingers. The next thing you guys can do is look at have story time with your kiddo using books that have separate sections in the book where your kiddo can specifically point to. So this book has little squishy dinosaur faces that they can poke at. Uh, this book has pom-poms that are soft and furry. Um, they are also pop type books that are on the market as well where you can push the little clear plastic circle and it pops to the other side. You can even use those really popular fidget poppers um, that are like that silicone material to be able to pop each one individually. Um, and it's really great because we can't push the whole popper toy with our whole hand. We have to just use one finger to pop um, each toy. So it's a really great idea. There are also games on the market like Ants in the Pants where, or those frog jumping toys where we use our finger to push on the back of the toy and the toy jumps, that was not a good one, but the toy jumps in the air like that and you can use that to have like a frog race or an ant race across the table or try to get it into a bucket. And also a lot of these activities um, just do it under close su supervision because our tiny kiddos, a lot of these activities are using small items so we don't want them to put them in their mouth and create a choking hazard. So that's just a FYI tip. <laughs> and then um, the other thing you guys can do is use uh, spray bottles to do like water art or like a water gun fight. The spray bottles where you have to push the top or the side or water guns. Um, it's really great for isolating that movement because we have to hold the bottle with the rest of our hand and use our index finger to push the button to release the water separately. Um, and then the last thing you guys can do is um, pop bubbles. So if you blow bubbles, you can catch a bubble on the wand and model for your kiddo popping the bubble with one finger. Um, or you can have your kiddo pop, pop, pop the bubbles in the air like this and model that for them um, and have that be a fun game for them too. So those are just the several ideas that you guys can do to help promote that finger isolation and movement of the separate muscles of our hands um, to work on developing those fine motor skills for our kiddos. Hope you guys enjoyed.
Bye.